Hello everyone, welcome to Agile Tech and in this video we're going to be looking at the Cambridge IGCSC um, ICT document production February March um, 2019 which is the only variant and of course this is paper 2 and um, before we dive into it, it's important that one, um, the candy source files have been provided which is the additional material two, Please go through the instructions. It is very imperative that you go through the instructions. Don't just get too confident that you forget about the instructions because there's some things right here in the instructions that if you ignore, trust me, it looks as if all your labor was just wasted in the exam. And so that's why you have to go through the instructions. In previous videos, I was able to go to the instructions one after the other and explain them. So you might want to check that out, okay? Uh, but please, in every exam, go to read through the instructions. It's very important. Okay? Alright, so um, with that being on the way, um, let's head back to it. Let's get back um, to this. Alright, so um, let's begin. You work for Tower um, International Summer School and are going to carry out um, some tasks for them as you prepare the delegate list for a summer school in Jordan. Um, tax one is the evidence document and you have to open the file m 2119 For the purpose of this video, um, I have the additional um, the candy source file open in the background um, so that it makes it easier um, to, for us to locate this M219 evidence. So I'm just going to open it right now. Um, here it is. Okay, now make sure your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of your evidence document. So let's do that. So click on insert. And now for the, for the, um, ensuring that your name, um, center number, and candidate number appears, you have the option of either putting it in your header or in your footer. But for me, I always tell my students, please, the header is is better is clearly seen and um it, it just it's easier for it to be on the header okay so um you can set to put it you can set to make make all of them left align center align or right align or you can just put set, um, center uh, left center and the right align whichever method you want to use that's fine okay so i have here for my name a center number i'm going to use aj O one seven, no A N, A for Jao, N for Andy. My candidate number I don't have any, so I'm just going to use um, the year I'm currently recording this video. Now, obviously, for students, you'll be required to put in your center number and your candidate number. It is very very imperative that you do that. Okay, all right. Okay, done. Save this as a word process document in your work area with a file name m2119 evidence followed by your candidate number for example you have this now i'm using a soft copy obviously in your exam it will be hard copy then you will need to actually type it the way it is here okay copy so click on file click on save as right click paste um, the extension is a word process document. I'm going to backspace the nine. I would backspace the nine nine, the four nines, and put in my candidate number. Done. Okay. Tax two. So that is out of the way. Just going to give it some green lantern. Okay, right, we're going to need to place um, screenshots and your answers in the evidence document. Tax 2, document, you are going to you are going to edit a document and apply the paragraph styles as defined in the corporate house style. You will need to edit some of the style used in the document to meet this requirement. Uh, question 1 is open the file M2. 
19 Archaeology. So let's do that. Where is it? Yep. Well, this is not looking like A4. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what we can do. Save this document in your work area in the format of the software you're using with the file name A190XInfo. So, um, so we're going to save this with a file name. Just going to copy it right here. Click on File, click on Save As, paste this, save this format of the document using done. Place in your evidence document is screenshot to show that this file has been saved. Make sure there's evidence of the file type. Okay. So right here, I'm going to change this view to details. And um, okay, it's already showing here, but if yours is not showing here, you can click on sort, date modified, and of course, ensure that it descended that from the highest to the lowest. Okay. So we have this. That is when it was first modified, the recent modification to the lowest modification. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to take a click of the Windows icon, snip into connect, click on new, and I have the chance to do this. Done. This will be evidence one. Please. Now, um, please take note of this um, vital information. Please endeavor that your background team is a light background and not a dark background. Please, it is very, very essential that it is, um, one, for the sake of ink in your, your school, but two, it is not, it is unprofessional, okay? And this is an exam. Obviously, you're going to be writing your exam soon. So please, you don't want to um use a dark but just follow the simple instruction ensure that it is a light team and i think in previous videos i was able to show how you can actually change your dark team that if you buy the laptop and it's with it or something to a light team a light team if you don't know how to do that okay um so it's very very important that you have it as a light um a white background not a dark background okay so moving on and that is just one mark. So this is done. Change the document settings to be A4 with landscape orientation. I knew something was wrong. <clears throat> so click on the layout. Click on P setup A4. Okay. Landscape orientation. Set all margins to two centimeters. Now, obviously, I'm typing two, and you're wondering what is it doing. Now, I'm typing two because my major unit at default is already in centimeter. If yours is not a centimeter, I got you covered. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can be able to um, change. The current measurement unit which is not a centimeter to centimeter okay so i'll click on okay now i'll click on file click on more click on options click on advance on that display you will see the show measurement in unit of so you can be able to change it here um, if yours is in inches or millimeter to centimeter, okay? Moving on. Place your evidence document screenshot to show the settings for your page size. For your piece for your paper size and page orientation so we're going to place the evidence document screenshot to show the settings the paper size so let's do that
okay page orientation which is right here Okay. And finally, margins. Done. Okay, I think this is okay. So we have this right here. We have the page setup and orientation, and we have the margins. Okay, okay. Um, it's quite creative. Uh, but let's move on. So that's done. Okay, um, question four, place in the header of the document an automated date field. Okay. I'm going to place in the header. Click on file, header. To display to this date, left align. To this date. Okay, so we'll come here to insert, exploring quick part field, um, dates. Is there any format? No format, just to this date, okay? Notice that it's going to display a date field, okay? So just be attentive to instructions, date field. I'm just going to use this. I want it yeah. um, to this date. Okay, just this is fine. Um, this is fine. Okay. Your name, center number, candidate number, right align. Okay. Jaro, Andy, comma. Center number is AN017. Um, candidate number is 2023. For me, what else? Okay, so we are done with the header and we can take this off. Close and click on insert, click on header. Place in the footer automated page numbers left align. So we're going to place in the footer automated what page numbers what left align. Current position. It is imperative that you pay attention to all the instructions of the question. If you don't read them thoroughly, you're gonna make mistakes. Okay. Automated page map means that for every page, the number has to change. So the first page is one, the second page obviously is going to be two, the third page obviously is going to be what? Three. Now, the next one is the file name with its full part right align. Okay, so the file name right align. Click on insert, exploring quick part, the field, file name. 
and the part of it what else make sure no no make sure that all items align to the page margin okay so let's check click on view click on grid lines to ensure that they all align to the page margin yes you can uncheck this no other text or placeholders appears in the header and footer areas so i'm just going to take this off done and i can just highlight this and on the home i will click on right align so it's properly adjusted close that <laughs> headers and footer are displayed on all pages so that is done so this is done and this is for four marks moving on all right the half type specification for paragraphs are um, we have the style name ALC title Now we're going to create this. We're going to create a style manager and uh, style organizer. Okay, the style manager or style organizer um, is going to be placed off of normal because I see a lot of things right here. Normal. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do this because I don't want anything to tempo anything. Just going to create a blank. Um, Spacing for it. Um, I'll click on normal. If okay, that's fine, can I, I can. You know what? I can just adjust it here. Now, now let's go back to the question because this seems a little bit tricky. Now, the said you're going to edit the document and apply this paragraph style as defined in the paragraph house style. You may need to edit some of the style used in the document to meet this requirement. So um, there's every tendency that most of the styles have been created and all you have to do is to edit on it. Okay, so ALC title, you have to check in this question. ALC title has been created. So I'm just going to right click on it. And I'm going to modify it. Okay, so ALC title has been created. And... Um, this, for some serif, it has straight edges, so it's area, okay. The fort is 20, okay. Alignment is center, okay. Enhancement or capitals, we want to be sure. Click on paragraph. No font. Click on font. All caps. Okay, done. Line spacing is single. The spacing after is twelve. So let's let's check that. Okay. So click on format. Paragraph 12. Is it 12? Yes. So it's it's done, right? But we're just going to check and ensure that this is what it is. Okay. The next one is um ALC subtitle and the sans serif, which is the area subtitle, it has been created. Um, area 18, right align, it legs, single line, 12 point, let's check, okay, it is, and you wonder, why are we doing this if you have done it for us, remember that we have to modify some of them, so you can just get carried away, uh, you know what, they have done everything, and 
you might end up um, not knowing that there are some things we you're going to obviously adjust. I don't know. I'm still going with you. I'm still going to the question to see for myself. Um, copy it. Um, AL subhead. So let's check that and let's modify that. Go modify. Um, Times New Roman. 16 center nope it is not center you see why you have to check all of them to ensure that it is what it is because for this it is center bold and underline it is not bold and uncheck the it links single yes 12 let's check Obviously, you can ask. You can oh, you can often check here. You can also check here, and um, um, you can see that the properties have been um, added to this to know which of them you you to um, take off or which of them is not part of it, and this will actually help you. But for um, visualization sake, we can have this here. Twelve, so it's there. ALC body. Copy. Click on modify. Times New Roman. See, it is an area. So we change it to. Alignment is justified. Click on paragraph, change it from left to justified. Okay. First line indent one centimeter from the left. Okay, so paragraph indentation. That is before text, one centimeter, they say. Done. The one first line indent one centimeter from the left. This line spacing is going to be doubled. And it is going to be the first line only. Okay, it's going to be first line only. Nope, this is not it. Nope, first line one centimeter. So it's only going to be the first line, guys. So please, uh, we need to pay attention to this question because this is actually, like I said, it's a tricky paper, and because um, it's fourteen. Okay. Because here is first line indent one centimeter from the left. So it means that it's going to be a first line and the indent is going to be one centimeter from the left. Most time they can tell you hanging, right? So you just want to know the difference between that. This is first line and this is hanging. This is how hanging is. Um, the first line is going to be hanging and the other one is going to move. But here they just want the first line to be one centimeter um, um, from the left, okay? It's double okay and the space before and after is cell okay ALC table serif so okay this Times New Roman, 14, done. Left, done. Enhancement, done. Single line. Spacing. Zero, zero. Space after. Okay, done. 
These styles have already been applied to the document. And yes, they have already been applied to it. Just going to look at the body again. Okay. Delete, okay. Now, check that the styles applied to the document are correct as specified and match them to the house style specifically. Identify and correct only the settings of the styles that are incorrect. So we have done that. So we have checked that the styles applied to the document are correct as specified here and we match them to the house style specification and we have identified and we have correct only the settings of the styles that are incorrect. So we have gone through all and we have correct only the settings of the styles that are incorrect. Now, in your evidence document, provide screenshots evidence of any set, um, settings for the styles that you have corrected and place this in your evidence document. Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, that is um, going to be a lot right now. I think we corrected um, I'm just going to pause this video to go to what I've corrected. Okay, um, I think I've been able to locate it. And obviously in your exam, all you have to do is you're going to have to do a lot of backspacing. You have to undo some of the work um, just to know, um, um, obviously, the, uh, the starting changes that you made. But for what I, I did, I had to do, I had to undo some of them to see um, what of um to know um, the modifications I made prior to it. And obviously I made modifications to this because here we're having issues with first line indent. We made, we made um, modifications to this. And also for the subhead, we also made modifications to this. I think title and subtitle was okay. Um, we didn't have to make any modification but for the subhead, which was the, which was the Times New Roman, we had to do modifications on them okay because there were times we had to um we had to change some things to ensure that it was single it was good and it was underlined okay so we had we made modifications to the subhead and the body start so now we are going to uh, take screenshot evidence of any of the settings that we have corrected and place this in your evidence document okay so we'll do the subhead and of course um, the body Okay. Now you can just take only the screenshot. Since we are having more than two to do that, and we'll, we'll provide, we're just putting it only in evidence tree. Obviously, we just want to do this, okay? Because um, putting the other one uh, paragraph is still the same thing because obviously they can all see that here, okay? So I'll get my snipping tool, click on new. I'm going to do that. Done. I'm going to place this in my evidence tree. Okay. Not too much. Deuce. Okay. Then the body. Take the snipping tool for the body and um, okay. All in evidence three. Click on OK, go to Evidence 3. We're going to paste it here. 
too much juice juice okay you know what I just want them to be um, to be apart from each other so that's fine to do that you click here and you can just put this to be square with the text to actually move it okay so here it's just um, uh, making it in line with the text so I think that's fine okay so that was actually very tricky <laughs> yes very very tricky so I'm um, just going to to this green question six change the page layout so that the subheading our new international course and all the following text are displayed in two columns of equal width so uh, the subheading from our new international course Columns, more columns, two right here. Um, okay, and all the following text is in two columns of equal width with a one centimeter spacing between them. So it has a one centimeter spacing between them. Done. Okay. So it has this. So that is done. Now we're going to yeah we're going to um, import the image. Um, it's um, hopefully I'm going to see some. Before we import, we have to go back to because this. Let me check the body. Modify is it bolded? Yes, it is. Um, it's not bolded. The subheader is bolded. The body is not put. I knew something was wrong, and um, that's why it's important to um, to always check. And um, so the ALC body, we have it as times the of fourteen, justified, uh, double. It's not bolded. It's not bolded. Um, you know, so it's so important that you go back because. At times, you might tend to overlook because in your enhancement, enhancement has to do with bolding, um, underline, um, it legs, caps, um, your paragraph. Basically, that's what it has to do with it. So that is why when I'm seeing the text spinning, um, giving a different formatting feature, I was not really okay with that. Okay? So this is better. This is better. Okay? Now I'm okay. Okay, so this is good. And we just have to just do a quick check for the subhead as well. Um, so obviously I'm going to take a new screenshot for that. Um, for the subhead, I have uh, 16. Uh, center. Bold and underline. Single. Yeah, for the title, title, just want to be sure. So 
is all caps center single 12 okay so i'm just going to take a screenshot um of the body again click on modify and i will take a screen tool on that okay so obviously um, okay so um it's important that you you check again and to ensure that you don't make any mistakes and if you if if you observe anything that is off that shouldn't be the way it should it's important that um, you go through it again okay so this is okay click on file click on save okay so obviously with my students um i'm still going to do this dwell more on this because the house style is everything and you need to know what falls under each of the house styles in enhancement what falls under enhancement um, the board is there, the um, underline is there, the italics is there, all caps is there. So um, for the body, it was tricky because um, they bolded it, it was bolded, and they expected to uh, just ensure that no other formatic, um, formatic properties on the enhancement, only the line given should be there. So um, it's very important that you know this. Okay, so we can move forward. We're going to import the image m2 119 foam okay so don't be too fast place this at the start of the paragraph below the subheading y um Jarash, okay um so i'm just going to find it and why so obviously it's going to be here so I'll click on insert Click on pictures from this device. This is it here. Click OK. We move the bottom third of the image. The bottom third of the image. So obviously we're going to remove the bottom third of this image. They want this to be removed as well so obviously to do that we're going to use the crop feature to actually um, remove this so i i had i made a quick pause so that i could um, probably explain um we have done this okay um we've imported this we've placed this at the start of this this is okay but now what i want to explain to you is removing the bottom third of an image so I've been able to open a sample. This is how an image looks like. And we have the top, we have the middle, and we have the bottom, okay? And most of the time, it may not necessarily be, um, you may not actually be exact, but this is just how the structure of the image looks like. Here's the top, here's the middle, and here's the bottom. Now, for our image here, this is the top here, this is the bottom, this is the middle, and obviously we just have to take out this part okay so if i click on my um if, if i click on the crop i can move this okay that's fine crop and um So that's done. Resize the image so that it is 6.5 centimeter wide with the aspect ratio maintained. Okay. Um, 6.5 centimeter wide, aspect ratio maintained. 6.5. Uh, 
Okay. Done. Apply the image to the top of the text. The city flourish too. Okay. So we're going to apply the image to the top of the text. The city flourish too. Okay. Left margin. So it has to be left margin. Just going to make this tight. And I'm going to make a left margin. Make sure the test wrap around this image. Done. So, uh, like I said, this paper has been quite tricky, and um, so you have to pay absolute attention as you're going to miss um, the details. Okay. Um, format the first row of the table by merging the three columns. Um, so, in this in this paper. Um, obviously the table has been inserted and you don't need inserting just to just pay attention to this by merging let's say format the force of the table by merging the three columns so let's do that first row highlight it and under the layouts click on merge center align the text in the merge cell center line okay shading the med cell with a light gray background 2 to 40 percent with a light gray background Click on home. Shading right here on table design shading light. Okay, so right here, light gray background. No. So how many here? 20 to 40. So this is okay. Okay. Um, so this is done. Okay, I think I was... No. I think I was using... The green lantern. Okay. Apply the ALC subway style to the top of the row. Okay. Now for styles, obviously you don't need too much. Um, it, it can be you can click at the beginning or at the end. Still the same thing. Subhead done. Apply the LC table style to the other row in the table. Light gray. Just want to be sure. Just light gray. Yep. yep. So for the other one, I uh, want to apply the TLC table style to the other rows. In the table, on
make sure that the table fits within the column width with no word split on the text wrap. There are no blank rows in the table. All internal and external grid lines are displayed when printed. So, and right here, there are no blank rows, and there is. So, we're going to delete that row. Going to adjust it. Okay, with no words, okay. That is, there's no extra word like E going, um, there's no extra word like E splitting on the text wrap, okay. All right. Okay, so we're going to spell check. We're almost done. We're going to spell check and proofread the work. Okay, so we'll, um, this has been done. So we'll spell check and proofread the document. So let's do that. So we're going to click on review, spellings and grammar. across a huge it should be huge it should be venturing people just want to be sure I think they're the same thing okay so um This is okay. Um, the amphitheater. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. 95. Just keep going to see if we have other things we just need to check. Okay, um, white checking guys, I think this is better off being together, so I'm just going to hit it down. Yep, this looks better. Yep, this looks better. 295, ed um, ed editor score is not bad, so... Um, I think this is done. Now, make sure there are no windows or orphans. Um, you don't have any blank pages. We want to guide against them. The, tables is, the table is not split over two columns or pages. And we have just done that. It has to be on one page. It doesn't have to split. It has to be on one column. It doesn't have to split between two columns. Correct house styles have been applied as specified. Okay, spacing between all items is consistent. Just, just is too close. So I'm just going to just, just to. 
the six is fine. Um, save the document using the file name and format used in step in step one. Okay, in step one, which is a nineteen x info. Then we have to print the document. So this has been um, quite challenging for the maths. You just have to pay attention, absolute attention as you, you might just miss some maths along the way, but um, okay, I think this should go down. Nope. Okay. This is better. Okay, um Okay, this is better. Yes, tight. So this can be, this is good. And each of them has to be, okay. And we can take this back. It's important you go through to ensure that your solve items are not left alone because they said it right here that um, there are no windows or offense to ensure that um, no empty spaces and no offense in terms of the subheadings are staying on their own. You want to, um, um, you can lose a, a mark from it, so you don't want to take that chance. So I'm just going to, this looks fine by me okay so um then we can um print our document right make sure that you've entered your name center number and candidate number on your document we can still check again yes we've done that and then we can print so I'll click on file click on print to pdf and um I think this is just want to be sure this is the paper. Okay, and this is printer one. Copy. Paste. Save. And the reason need to check your page to check what you've done. Uh, I'm just going to change this view to um, for the printer one. Just check what you've done to see that it is in the correct. And this this is looking good. And yeah, so this has been a challenging paper, and um, it has been challenging. So it's important, I think this paper teaches us a lesson, it's important that you have to um, um, go through them properly, cross-check your work over and over again, remember it's document production, cross-check your work over and over again to ensure that you're not making any mistakes. So thank you very much, and please do want to subscribe for this video for more IGCSE ICT practical videos. Thank you.